Meanwhile, lawmakers have laid out plans for their annual audit of state affairs, which gets started in just two days, with representatives from rival parties seeking to set the stage for an upcoming general election next spring. Ji myung has more. The ruling Sanuri Party is hoping to make livelihood reforms the focus of this year's annual parliamentary audit. The upcoming assembly audit will be focused on whether the government implemented effective policies to improve the livelihoods of the people. During the audit, we will cooperate with the opposition to avoid getting embroiled in political wrangling. The ruling bloc said it would reward lawmakers who come up with good policy alternatives for the government that help resolve various kinds of hardships for the public. The main opposition MPAD said it would focus on reviewing obstacles to reforming the country's family-owned conglomerates or Tebar, and key corporate executives will be summoned for questioning. The Tebal have come under increasing scrutiny in recent months following a series of high-profile cases involving some of Korea's biggest companies. Business tycoons will be required to participate in the audit as witnesses. Conglomerates have lost their entrepreneurial spirits and drive for innovation due to preferential treatment. We also plan to evaluate the inadequacies in President Park Geun-hye's administration. The MPD also said it is determined to fix the government's mistakes by correcting existing policies and or presenting new policy alternatives. Analysts expect the two parties to seek to strengthen their standing with the public through the audit, ahead of a general election next April. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.